Hello, super students. This is Mr. Town, and today we're going to make what I'm going to call a paper plate maze. And so let's see, this is what it looks like when it's done. You're going to put a small ball in there, like a marble or some plastic ball, and then you're going to roll it through the maze that you've created to dry, try to go from the start to the finish, something like this. Whoops, it got stuck there. Let's see. Try to get it through the maze. And there, I got it to the finish. So your job is to design and build um, a paper plate maze using some simple materials. And the simple materials that we're going to use, of course, are a paper plate, some straws, some tape, and some marbles. And so what I'm going to suggest for you, and you might need a, a pair of scissors as well. So what I'm going to suggest to you is you get all your materials together, paper, plate, straws, scissor, and tape. And I'll give you a few hints as to what to do. You're going to kind of lay out and design your maze however you would like on your plate. You might want to take some time to sketch it out with a pencil. And then you're going to then cut your um, pieces of straw so that they can create the maze. I'm going to give you a hint that might help you. So when you're taping straws, I put the tape on the straw first and then I'll roll it so that the tape is kind of pointing like this. And then I'll put the tape down so that it rolling it a little this way and that way so that it holds it right against the plate. That's instead of doing something like this, where if I tape it on like this, then do you see how the humps right there make it hard to get past? All right, that's a hint. Uh, I would say you're going to have to have a little bit of practice doing this because it takes a little bit of uh, finger dexterity and a little bit of practice, but I'm sure you can all do it. So good luck making your paper plate mazes.